Hello everyone, welcome back. Like I just came back from lunch, we've got our feeding done for the morning. I've pulled our tractor and planter in here. We're still running a John Deere 4960 with four wheel drive. And it's pulling a Kinsey 3600 1223, which means it has 12 corn rows with 11 pusher units in the front to make it 23 bean rows whenever you're planting beans. I noticed back in the spring when I got done planting, I always bring my planter in and wash it just like any other piece of equipment. There's one flaw these Kinsey planters have. And on the left side, on the main frame down here, where your tires mount, <clears throat> the other side, the two, are all one frame for the two tires, two wheels and tires. On this left side, it's two separate pieces. There's one tire. I've already had the other one off because I started on it back, back then. Started working on it, welding on it, figuring how I was gonna fix it throughout the summer. Of course, we're busy with hay, and then you get into harvest and all, just it's the way farming is. You have to work on something a little while when you have time on rainy days, and then you come back to it later on. All right, what happened, this plate here, this frame here, it lays down the other way. And this bracket here that I've made, me and my dad made, takes the place of the one that was on it. and it bolts right here. Uh, our plan is we're gonna bolt it, but we're also taking some half inch steel plate. And we're gonna plate under this bottom side because that's where it gave away and let the old piece bend and twist. It snapped off two three quarter inch grade five bolts. I'm just glad it didn't happen in the field. I'll show you the plate that we cut off. It was all twisted. Oh, and there's the skid loader spear. It's all the welding on it's complete. I ground and rounded all the edges and corners off. And my daughter will be here this afternoon to do the, uh, to finish painting it. And I'll show you after I put the spears in it and show you what it looks like on the skid loader. All right, here's the original mountain plate that came on it from Kinsey. If you look just below my hand right here, it's twisted. And it's even worse here because this is where it was to the bottom. Of course, that planter weighs several thousand pounds. And that's a lot of weight on that, on just four tires. Of course, to plant with this planter, in the middle there, you see a big mass with two cylinders on it. All right, right now, it's raised all the way up. Inside the cab of the tractor, you have a remote box with about six or eight switches on it. All right, you work your remote levers inside the, inside the tractor. With those switches, this planter will turn until all of this is sideways. Then you can pull the tongue up half the distance of how long the tongue is now. Then you set it down and you can start planting. Of course, you also have wing locks. You have a center section and a wing on each side. The wings make it where when you're going over uneven terrain, that it will let that side go down on the low side, whichever the low side is on the left or right. Otherwise, see these tires on the end here that are in the air, this actually drives the planter. This makes the planter put out seed. That's running it backwards. 
But this tire, when you let it down, will come in contact with this tire. And they'll, this tire touching that one will make this one turn. And whenever they're turning, these units are putting out seed in the ground. But it's probably gonna get a little loud here in a minute. So whenever we do the editing on the video, we will have, I cut this torpedo heater on and it makes it loud in here. But I'll try to catch some video of me trying to stick this up here. I'll set my phone up. I've got my good lineup tools, some good, good straight punches. Cause when you're messing with something this heavy, it's hard to just take a bolt and you stick right in the hole. So it's a lot easier if you have a punch to line it up. But I'm gonna get everything together, get it set up, so you can see how it all works. All right, here we go. Turn my heat on, it's cold in here. 